Well, 20 is plenty for us is a campaign which uh, I, I started in 2007, very much in order to help people who in different communities around the UK wanted to get lower speeds in their, their streets. We now have 263 local campaigns around the UK. We're talking about uh, most of inner London, Manchester, Birmingham, Liverpool, all of these places uh, have got a total 20 policy which is really setting 20 mile an hour as the speed limit for most residential streets and that usually comprises about 80% of the total streets in the borough. Most people want to have a calm street where they live and where they work. So there's tremendous latent support for it. What makes the organisation work is the hundreds of people who, who campaign for 20 miles an hour in their free time. You know, basically, we run on volunteer time and those people make good advocates for 20 miles an hour because they're the electors, the residents of the cities and towns where they're working on their councillors. And what we do is untap that support right, by empowering local communities with information, with facts, with briefing sheets, with support as well on how they can go about justifying lower speeds and how they go through that engagement process with their community representatives, the councillors, the professionals. Volunteers differ in the way they do it. Some are extremely active on social media and they will immediately set up a Twitter account or a Facebook account and often that will grow quite fast. If you live in a small place, quite an effective thing to do has been to put up stickers and, and posters so that when the elected representative for that, for that village, for instance, walks round, they're constantly reminded that everybody wants 20 because it's on their bins, it's on their car windows. And indeed we now have 14 million people in the UK living in local authorities and in places where they've adopted a total 20 policy and we're talking about some of our iconic cities. Some of the features that you'll see around us now uh, help to deliver a slower speed environment. So we have these things that lots of other people use as well, courtesy crossings, raised entry treatments, call it what you will. Um, we, we put these in and we put them in in high quality materials in the city and we know that actually vehicles, many of the drivers actually give way to people on foot and so again the physical build of the environment is as important as actually setting a statement and that statement is 20 miles an hour. So there's speed limits, there's road design, a whole other agenda is around enforcement and the Metropolitan Police are starting to come to the party as regards 20 mile an hour in a way that they weren't two years ago. Much more supportive, prepared to do enforcement work. So today we're in Belvale Park doing a yarn bombing for the 20 effect. In the last couple of weeks we've been working with pensioners groups, with youth groups, schools and knit and natter groups to get these amazing 20 mile an hour roundels made up and this morning we fitted them to Belleville Park to raise awareness for the 20 mile an hour speed limits that are going to be hitting the residential streets in this area soon. These are residential streets, this is where we live. Keep it calm guys and once you get on the main highway you can get where you're going. Meanwhile these are local streets. Well, we're on a street in Cambridge now that has recently had its speed limit reduced from 30 miles an hour to 20 miles an hour. This has made the street a lot more attractive to walk along and to cycle along. Within Cambridge there's been an active campaign to make 20 miles an hour the default speed limit for all residential areas. And so far we've got about half the city converted to 20 miles an hour and the other half of the city is coming along pretty quickly. Cambridge is one of the places which is really building on the fantastic support and use of cycling. And for Cambridge, 20 mile an hour limits across the whole city are giving a tremendous advantage because it fills in from all those places where they might put in some cycling provision and really makes all the rest of the road network safer. When I began working on 20s Plenty, there were 1.5 million people whose authorities had agreed 20, and now we're up to 14.5 million, so certainly I feel that the, the work we're doing is making a difference. The current population of uh, London is around 8 million. By the summer of this year, we will have 3 million people across London living on 20 mile an hour streets, and obviously that's a point of comparison between, say, the 1.6 million people who live in Manhattan. So you've got twice as many people living on 20 mile an hour streets in London. Most of our iconic cities have actually rejected 30 mile an hour as being appropriate for most of their roads. 
And what we're looking towards is the Total 20 by 2020 campaign, where we're really saying that rather than looking at these 20 mile an hour limits as exceptions, they're really becoming the norm in most of our cities. And we ought to, to, to make it clear as a country right, that this is an aspiration which there is in all communities that we should say 20 mile an hour is the right speed. Paris, for example, is looking to become 30 kilometre an hour on a very large number of streets. If we're going to stay competitive, what do we need in terms of our, our fairness agenda? 20 mile an hour is very, very much part of that conversation.